early YouTube at 6 12 p.m. Um, Saturday, December 18th. And ooh, it's getting dark. Um, yeah, my iPhone just ran out of space. I guess I should have known I didn't have enough space to run a long video there, but anyway, um, I'm still walking up the Randolph, and I was trying to explain that I did a couple of videos earlier. Um, you know, there's a rant, uh, an alignment where there used to be a country road, rural road, before this was all kind of built up as Phoenix, called Randolph Drive, and I've looked at this, this uh, right-of-way that I'm walking on right now, I've looked at it in aerial maps many, many times. I've always considered kind of coming down here to try to walk it, but I never found myself just kind of walking through this neighborhood trying to kill time, and here I am, so I figured I'd uh, walk it and shoot it. Um, oh, wow. And I guess as I should have expected, there's almost a campus here. Wow. Wow. This is very interesting, though. And that looks like another another uh, right of way, probably what should be an alley, even though there's really nothing there. And here we have a street going north that is truncated here, um, because this this uh, right of way that I'm walking on, like it, nothing can really go across it. I don't know who owns this, to be honest. I think it might be owned by the gas company. I think there's gas lines submerged here that were put in alongside. Randolph Road as infrastructure long, long ago before any of these subdivisions around me were built. Um, and this is all just conjecture. I mean, I haven't read records of that. I'm just based on evidence of things that I see. Well, it's like a lot of homeless people crash out here at night, but I don't really see anybody here. Um, that's something I wanted to talk about, where I was talking about how the whole dysfunctionality of, of the transfer from the train to the Route 17, which I want to get back to that because something really weird happened, and, and you saw it by the fact that I got on a, a bus that shouldn't have been showing up yet. That's interesting. We got another alleyway taken off to the right. Apparently, this is drivable. Yes, I think this is an alleyway. This is one of those videos I should really be doing in the uh, in the daytime so you can see something. Yeah, this appears to be an alley, but it doesn't look like it's used by the city for trash pickup. Pretty bizarre. I dig that tree. And of course, I'm shining the phone at it, and this phone don't have good enough night, whatever, to capture it. So, this right-of-way alley, whatever you want to call it, either used to be, it's, it's either the rem remnants of what was Randolph Drive, which would stand to reason might have been a dirt road at one time. Uh, I, and I really don't know. I haven't met anybody who's old enough to really remember. Um, or, or, or I might be adjacent to where Randolph Road was. And then this is just kind of where uh, is a utility easement for utilities that were placed a long time alongside Randolph Road that, of course, are still there since the elimination of Randolph Road. It's one of those two things. Anyway, yeah, I've looked at it on, I've looked at it on, uh, on Google aerial views, and it certainly looked like it would be walkable, although I used to have a gate on the entrance where I came in, and that gate's been removed. This is really trippy. Now, these kind of pathways are what I would love to see cleaned up and used as bicycle and uh, scooter, you know, micro-mobility infrastructure, but... Yeah, mostly it's just paths for, for the homeless. All right, so it's kind of ending at an intersection here. And the street going off to the, uh, going off to the east. And it's ending here. This has got to be 30th Street. Yeah, 30th Street. You can see that. Uh, probably you can't see it because it's so dark, but that person's sidewall, instead of going... You know, straight east and west, his property boundary goes along that, that, uh, that um, alignment of, you know, where, where, uh, where Randolph used to be. So anyway, I'm at the corner of Garfield and 30th Street. And here you can even see that Garfield Street um, 
has a bit of a turn. It doesn't come straight out to 30th Street. It, it, it has a bit of a, of a curve and goes at a slight different angle, basically, to accommodate the uh, easement and the remnants of uh, Randolph Drive. It's very interesting. Um, so we've got these apartments here on the left, uh, which I believe are all projects. Um, I believe these are all like, government housing. I could be wrong. And it could be private apartments at this point that was initially built as uh, as projects, but I, I believe, it, yeah, if these aren't projects now, they were certainly built as projects. Um, and, of course, built long after the elimination of Randolph Road. Hmm. Kind of wanting to walk along the alignment of where Randolph was, so I'm going to keep kind of doing that. And this walkway seems to more or less line up with the... Uh, Old Randolph right away behind me. Yeah, it smells like weed through here. <laughs> All right, so kind of got to keep on my toes because I mean, theoretically, I'm trespassing here, but whoa, doggy. Um, I find it kind of interesting how these buildings are all kind of sitting at a 45 degree angle uh, to you know, the cardinal directions resulting in kind of this walkway going at 45 degrees angle at, at a place where Randolph Drive used to go at a 45 degree angle. It's kind of fascinating. So in a, in a weird sort of way, this pathway preserves the old uh, Randolph Drive um, route. I'd love to see an old map of Phoenix before this was built up showing Randolph Drive going through from uh, the stretch over by my storage facility over to the stretch that exists um, south of Osborne Road. I'd really like to see what what that what that looked like in, in relation to the other development or lack thereof. Just, just a, so someone who's got a strong interest in uh, planning and history, I'm just really curious. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm up on Roosevelt Road now. Looking to jaywalk. No. Oh. So I'm, the best I can tell, Randolph Drive would have crossed Roosevelt, assuming Roosevelt even existed back then, right around here. I'm looking for any evidence of it going south. And not really seeing any. I'm just seeing these row houses to the right here that look to be look to be post-war construction, probably you know like 19 early early 1950s, mid 1950s. And they all sort of match, so and then we got a I don't know what we got going on here. It's funny, it's like a street that I used to drive down a lot. I, obviously, I don't go down it very often now because it's not a bus route I have need to use. But but it's funny, I, as much as I drive this and I've drove this for years, I, I can sometimes I don't even really notice what's on it. Um, new generation daycare and learning center. I guess I've noticed this before. It's never really paid it no mind. This daycare is not really something that has ever mattered to me. But hey, look, they're hiring. Yeah, I put that on the long list of jobs that I absolutely would not like to have. Uh, Alright, at this point I'm absolutely convinced that I've gone past where Randolph Drive would have gone north of Roosevelt. So, I am at 29th Street. So I'm going to head north and now I'm seeing evidence of, uh, of Randolph Drive just by that, that oddball angle that those apartment, uh, that apartment complexes fences at. As you can see, well, hopefully you can see, that, that fence between what looks to be houses over here, private houses over here, and that apartment complex is... Uh, Yeah, it's running at that same peculiar angle, and there's power lines there, so 
Randolph Road at one time was either north or south of that, that fence or maybe right in the middle and just kind of when it got eliminated this is how this area developed leaving that property line there which is interesting uh, don't think I'm going to go into that uh, there's employee parking only no private parking yeah I don't know what that is but I don't I don't think it's a good idea for me to trespass there at night just to see where that property line load goes so I'm going to kind of walk around it See if I can see where where that oddball property line comes out on the other side. It's where they said employee entrance only, because this is not a this is an apartment building here. Back my short tenure back with VIP Taxi, I do remember uh, picking up somebody in a cab at these apartments. And uh, not gonna lie, they seem pretty sketchy then. They <laughs> look real sketchy now. And for those who don't know, I am in a uh, not 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 the worst neighborhood in Phoenix, but I'm in a pretty damn bad neighborhood um, I'm just to the uh, east there was the back lot that I was I wonder if you can see the yeah I can't really see that angled uh, property line going that direction in that complex but anyway yeah, I'm just uh, just east of County Hospital, with those lights up above, I do a little zoom, oh yeah, that helps a whole lot of nothing, there we go, that building there, god, the zoom on this is horrible, um, yeah, that's the County Hospital Tower, you know, so much talk of affordable housing, and usually in the context of using the phrase affordable housing, they're talking about government subsidized housing um but the the word on its face the words on its face would would mean housing that is affordable i'm so surprised this road doesn't really have a sidewalk it just went to dirt um it should mean housing that is affordable and these apartments used to be very affordable back in the day it used to be very inexpensive um i uh I really don't know what they rent for nowadays. Trying to sign there, it says for rent. Oh. I'll get the number. Oh, it actually says one and two bedrooms starting at $900,000 including tax. So, wow, a grand a month to live in uh, this absolutely terrifying part of town in uh, that dirty, messy place. That makes me feel really, really good about uh, where I live and what I pay for it. Um, uh, things I do to amuse myself because I don't want to be home with a girlfriend that's not really affectionate anymore. Ah. Oh well, here we are. I did not see what street I just started walking north on. I would, I would imagine this is 28th Street. Uh, boxes and other garbage on the sidewalk. Man, this is a, this is a dumpy neighborhood. So much trash. I wish I was doing this in the daytime. So much trash just everywhere. Just oh, lots of trash in the, in the parking lot and on the side of the road and in the curb and you know, dumpsters blocking the sidewalk. One thing I really don't like about neighborhoods that don't have trash pickup in the alleys is just trash bins. And here they've got them just kind of in the road because the road gets narrower. That's the way these old easements are. I'm kind of watching on the right for where an, an, uh, uh, for an obvious property line coming out at that 45 degree-ish angle that Randolph Randolph Road used to run at Randolph Drive. I can't remember if it's road or drive. The no, same letter, so they jumble up in my brain. And there's the property line I'm looking for. The fence on the left side of this guy's house. And you can tell this guy's house is old. Like this would have been a house out in the country when it was built. It's way older than everything here. And here we have a, a SRP um, switch. Uh, so that means there's underground canals here. 
which I'm sure is probably explains a lot to the ant while I'm in the Randolph Road. Uh, no parking. Yeah, it does look like here now they've got a gate on it and they've got it locked, but it does look like there's a, a, a walkable easement behind this that, uh, as I saw before, it didn't go through on the other side. But you can see it, it here, it is here, and there's a fence to the left and a, and a fence to the right, and an easement here. So looks like it goes off to the same sort of thing. And again, it's definitely private property, so I'm not going to enter it, but dir directly opposite, you can see that same same easement you know, running at an odd angle separating the properties and power poles that don't appear to have power lines on them but power poles along the uh along the, oh wow this is interesting so we got a intersection here obviously these streets are built after randolph road was eliminated and and it looks like this property with this little house on the left is just a funny little corner funny little triangular shaped property bounded by this street that I'm on to the north and the street that I just got off of which I think was 36th street to the uh, to the um, east and then Randolph Road forming a triangle uh, looks like we got people living in this uh, RV idling that's probably their home wow and their exhaust is nasty and we're going to have another little spot here. And here you can see, there you can actually see remnants. Well, probably you can't see because it's camera sucks, but remnants of a canal and a tiny little triangle of property that's just empty. Remnants of a canal, a uh, what looks like a pretty ugly duplex sitting actually on the remnants of the easement. And then a, again, a, a, there's a gate to access it. I'm assuming this is probably actually this little piece of land probably owned by SRP. And then we have another gate that's running running at that peculiar 45 degree angle that uh, Randolph used to run at. Oh my god, the exhaust from that guy's uh, exhaust from that RV is noxious as fuck. Wow. Not cool. So as best I can tell, it would have crossed, Randolph would have crossed right through here. Um, got more pretty dingy apartments in here. Hear the music? And I am on, I think, Portland Street. Yeah, Portland Street. And here you can see property line going straight north, and it does kind of look like there's something running at a funny angle north of here. Another house that looks way older than the average stuff in this neighborhood. Let's count the bars on the windows. God, that tiny house probably has less square footage than my apartment. Well, yeah, probably a country house that predates most of the development here. It's an interesting old house there, too. Oh... And I'm not going to lie, I honestly wish I owned one of them houses. There's UPS doing deliveries. That reminds me, I never did see the girl I hung out with, Cece. I don't know if I mentioned Cece. Ah, she wasn't a UPS driver, though. She was a FedEx driver. I've never seen a woman make a FedEx uniform look so sexy. Oh, my God. And she gave me her number, and she's never returning to my text messages, so... Oh, well, I got a feeling I'll probably never, never hear from CC again. <laughs> probably spent the next day thinking, man, that dude is old. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure what street I just started heading uh, south on, but I do know I'm approaching, uh, I can hear the traffic, I'm approaching uh, where um, Loop 202 cuts through. There's another house that's way recessed from the road, which again, I would imagine was something that was probably built to be near Randolph Road, not the street I'm walking on. It's way older than everything else around here. Um, yeah, I haven't seen an obvious place where Randolph came out here, and I feel like I'm kind of crossing where the alignment was again. 
You know, the last thing I thought I would be doing today is making another video about the remnants of Randolph Road, but here we are. And I got totally sidetracked from talking about what I was, what was going on with the McDowell bus last night, and I want to get to that, but I want to do that on another video because I'm at 20 minutes on the ONN phone right now, and or I'm sorry, the NUU phone right now, and uh, and yeah, once I get past 20 minutes, it starts to become real problematic trying to uh, trying to get it uh, to a cloud and then to my iPhone or my PC to. Uh, get it on YouTube. That's 27th and probably y'all can't see it because of the lighting, but get it. 20, so 27th Street in Moreland. And I'm sure one time 27th Street went further north. In fact, probably when I started driving cab, it still did that. Uh, went further north. Moreland does definitely look like it was here before the freeway was built. But yeah, north side here is fenced off. Definitely a dot property. State property, no dumping. Yeah, ADOT is state. So. A property line here. State property to the north. Loop uh, 202 freeway to the north. I'm walking across what used to be, uh, what did I say, 20? Oh, I forgot what street that is. Yeah. So, imagine there was probably used to be a sidewalk right here, but it got removed when the freeway got built. Um, 27th Street. So yeah, that other street I was on probably was 28th Street. Now at this point, I'm closer to 24th than 32nd, so I should probably keep walking that way. And I said I was going to end this video, didn't I? But my curiosity about... Uh, my curiosity about... Um, uh, it's, uh, I think that sign said no trespassing, but I'm trespassing. Um, yeah, my curiosity about uh, Randolph Drive knows no bounds, so... Kind of neat. It's like little uh, townhouses, or probably apartments. I got a feeling that this these, this driveway I'm on is just to service these buildings, which have got um, to the north. It got it looked like pretty cool little places with carports. Uh, yeah, to the north we got yeah we got lights. No, I'm probably on camera. Uh, to the north we got the um, Loop 202. Of course, this stuff was obviously built before Loop 202. And, yeah, this is a dead end. This goes nowhere. And I didn't see anything running at that 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 45-ish degree angle that, that indicates where uh, Randolph Drive was. So. so, on that note, I guess I've seen everything there is to see that's really accessible of Randolph Drive between... 32nd Street and Loop 202. So that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So yeah, finally, check that off my bucket list. Because um, uh, where I entered it, which you see at the tail end of my last video, because the iPhone ran out of space, um, that's uh, that's if if you go across the street there on 32nd Street, there actually is Randolph Drive there. It still functions as a street there. Anyway, thanks for coming with me on this journey. Probably. Probably boring to 99.98% of the world, but that's something I've always wanted to kind of see and document. <laughs> I really regret that I didn't do it in the daytime where I could actually get some footage to show stuff, but at least I've experienced it, and uh, that matters.